All right, so I took this. You see it's all rusty looking. There's a bunch of rust inside this bracket in here. Uh, I'm not gonna take that bracket off because that bracket attaches to all this other stuff. So can't really take that off. I could, but I, I mean, you're getting into a whole can of worms. So what I'm gonna do is take Ospo and treat all this inside here and kill all this rust and I'll top coat it and that will work. So that's what I'm getting ready to do right now. Um, so hang with me here. I'll show you how I do this. I just poured, use this little brush right here, pour a little bit of it into a uh, top of a cup. And this is just, uh, like I said I use also all these is for, for phosphoric acid. Blah, blah, blah. That was a mouthful. Oh, actually, before I do that, let me do something else. Uh, let me tape off because it's going to run down inside there probably. I'm gonna tape off that trunk to where it doesn't run off down inside that trunk. Hope, hopefully, that's that's the that's the plan. We'll see how that plan works. So, a couple strips of this. We'll see if this works or not. If it doesn't, we'll always thought it should have. All right, maybe one more piece just for just because just because we can. Just because 3M tape is cheap, right? Alright. Oh yeah, there we go. Alright. So you can see over here, I've got all this cleaned up. I've got my edge where I'm going to weld up to it all cleaned up. So I'm going to let this sit for 24 hours and do its thing. And then we'll come back over and kind of wipe it off. And then we'll top coat it. And hopefully that will curb the rust for years. That's the plan anyway. We'll see how well that works. Maybe. <clears throat> so, I just want to get in here and kind of soak down in there real good. Let that get down in that crevice because a lot of that rust is going to be in between those um, where it overlaps. So... Just kind of let it drip down in there good. Get all that. I couldn't get down in there with my tool, so this is the next best thing I can think to do. And I'll just coat all of this real good. Like I said, let it run down in those crevices and just kill, kill, kill. Kill a machine. That looks like my tapes failed already. <laughs> that didn't last very long. I got phosphoric acid running down into the trunk. Oh well. It is what it is. A little bit right up here. It needs to die. A little bit right in there that needs to die. And I'm just gonna go ahead and coat the rest of the metal under here. Because I'm not using SPI epoxy, so it does not matter if I have phosphoric acid in here. Um, this stuff will play, play fine with other things. It just doesn't like to play fine with SPI's epoxy, so just so you know. I've had several people go, well, can I use this? And I don't know, check the piece sheets. I don't know what, I don't know what that product that you're using is, if it, if it plays well with acid or if it doesn't. I mean, it's one of those deals, you gotta check the manufacturer's recommendations. I highly suggest not getting on forums and going through there because most of those guys um, are just giving you an opinion, whether it's correct or incorrect, I don't know. Unless you just really trust that person, which, you know, some of them out there are fantastic. But then some of them are just trolls that just want to tell you whatever they think. And that will get you in trouble. It's not their project they're screwing up, right? So, once I get done here, I'll clean that phosphoric acid up that's run down into those, into the trunk. 
So I got that real good and soaked. Feel pretty good about that. Underneath, tickling in its belly. So we'll let that kick for 24 hours before we come back and do any top coating on that. And as you can see, like I said here, I went ahead and kind of dribble its way on in, even with the tape that I had. So we will kind of do some of this. And then we will do some of, if I can reach it, some of that. And what that is is isopropyl. Cause that's what I used to clean dang near everything in my shop. It used to be pretty cheap, but now that you know the COVID thing hit, everybody's using it to for antiseptic and making hand sanitizers. And man, now they're proud of it. It's like dang, supply and demand, right? So let me get a clean rag and do that one more time. I'm not trying to eat into his uh, his coating there. If it does, it does. We'll repaint it, but the end goal does not do that. So, I think we should be okay there. So, like I said, as you can see, going along, along through there, I've got it all hooked up. And now I've got to do the same thing this one in here you can see I've cleaned it up but I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did there and I'll try the tape again I mean it may have helped but I don't think it did a whole lot from what I can see we'll try it though if it helped a little it helped a little Seal, seal, seal. All right. Let's see what that does. So, there's my acid. I like a headshot. Again, I'm going to coat down in all in here too, even though it looks a little shiny. Um, there's pits. You can see, you probably can see that little pits. So I'll just go ahead and cover all this stuff. I don't 100% trust this to do, you know, all the legwork. If you're going to do this right, you'd probably need to take all that off and sandblast it or something but if as most of you know if you start sandblasting in a trunk like this you're going to have sand every well it's going to be everywhere it's going to be all over your shop it's going to be all over in the trunk it's going to be everywhere so sand plat blasting for me is an outside thing to do not an inside thing So, some people swear by this stuff. They say it's the best stuff ever. I say that I, I uh, think it's has its place, but I don't use it on everything because you know I use a lot of epoxy, so. This doesn't like epoxy. It doesn't play well. On this report card, it says plays well with epoxy. The box said usually does not. That's what mine said with plays well with others. 
usually does not. That's okay, because I like playing by myself. It may be nice to have friends, but, you know, there's more Christmas presents you got to buy, people you got to care about. Nobody got time for that. All right, let's see what that does. That was some pretty yucky deep stuff in there. So we'll let that sit up. Come back and see if she turns to black. Which I think it will. All right, so there's that. Um, the other pieces in here, the other pieces, and they're done. They're ready to be welded in. So probably what I'm going to do here, kind of an interesting thought or idea, is this this car originally from the factory, which I didn't realize. Um, and I don't know if I can find any of it here. Maybe up in here. And you see that red primer or brown primer ish? I think that's pretty well what it came out with for, from the factory. So I thought about epoxying this and I thought, well, no, I'll probably just use some of my gold. Um, weld through primer or whatever just to hit the mating surfaces and then i thought you know what i spent quite a bit of money on this stuff right here and i got a whole bunch of it and that is etch weld through primer so it if you want to just weld through you just put one coat on it says if you want it to actually be etch primer you put two coats on it so I'll put two coats on it and then weld through it or scrape off a little hole, whatever that I'm doing. Um, and that'll be that. But it's it's this color brown, so it'll look like the original, hopefully. That's the plan anyway. So, and then that, that kills two birds with one stone. I don't have to grind back the epoxy and then spray the weld through over the bare metal and all that kind of stuff. I'll just coat this and get after it. So that's the plan. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, not really much anything else going on. I've been on the phone a lot today and stuff, so I haven't got a whole lot done, but I thought I'd show you that. Uh, a little bit of acid treatment. So, all right, you guys have a good one.